relatively smooth border crossing, it took an hour and a half. For the first time, it's a very long time we had to deal with some corruption. In 1977, we made the first plans for an overland tour through Africa. 37 years later, the dream became reality. We spent four years on the road, traveling through five continents. Our journey came to a sudden stop in Southeast Asia due to Corona. We have hit the road again, but nobody knows where and when our voyage will end. In the previous episode, we visited Angkor Wat and the temples of Angkor Thom in Cambodia. We had plans to go to the Cambodia Cultural Village and the National Museum, but both appear to be closed. We therefore continue towards Laos. We stock up at the market first, because we will be in more rural areas. It's a beautiful drive on a very decent road through traditional rural areas with numerous villages. Like in many other countries, from time to time we see long lines of fruit or vegetable stalls all selling the same item. We make a stop over at the Beng Malaya excavation. We have arrived at the Beng Malaya temple. It's by road some 70 kilometers away from Sien Reap and it belongs to the same group as the Angkor temples. Largely unrestored and until a few years ago hardly accessible. So it gives the real jungle feel. Now it's all here with bewerking. There's a lot of noise out in the Yeah. 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 This temple is the most picturesque so far. It has hardly been restored and is beautifully situated between the tall trees. Few tourists are around. Beng Malia was built as a Hindu temple, but some carvings depict Buddhist motifs. Its primary material is sandstone. The history of the temple is unknown and it can be dated only by its architectural style identical to Angkor Wat, so scholars assumed it was built in the early 12th century. 
This site is on the UNESCO World Heritage Tentative List. we'll still come across mine clearing signs. We continue to the Colcare Temple Complex and spend the night at its entrance. Hey, hello, hello. <laughs> we spend the night in front of the gate to the Colcare excavation. Locals give us something for breakfast. Long steering sticks show that motorized farmers' carts are clearly a conversion from animal-powered carriages. Kokare is a remote archaeological site in northern Cambodia. Kokare was an important city of the Khmer Empire. It is in a jungle-filled region that is sparsely populated. Between 928 and 944, Kokare was the capital of the entire empire. The remoteness of the place and the overgrown ruins create a mystical atmosphere. We continue towards the border to Laos. The 
the road is much better than before in Cambodia and along the way we encounter fewer villages. It's a beautiful drive between the green rice fields and wooden stilt houses. We find a guest house in Stum Kreng. It's quaint but dirty. Fruits and vegetables are beautifully displayed. In carts along the boulevard hang pieces of meat from animals that we cannot identify. It is the first city in Cambodia where we don't meet any foreigners. Pieces of meat lie uncooled on wooden tables and the only quality control consists of slowly waving a stick with a bag attached to drive away the flies. We drive to the border with Laos on a road that is getting worse and quieter. guest house with a room with a veranda on a large lawn. In the next episode we go cycling on Kong Island and along the Mekong River in the south of Laos. <laughs> <laughs>